It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Okay, basketball fans, with me, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal, I'm Ernie Johnson. You're watching 2K Sports, but you know that already. And the pregame warm-ups wrapping up out there in Cleveland where it'll be the Cavaliers against the Golden State Warriors. Well, for the Warriors, a finals rematch. They'd better be ready. As the defending NBA champs, everybody's gunning for them, but especially the runner-up. And DeMarcus Cousins, no question about the talent, but Kenny, can he be the best player or at least a top two player on a championship contender? Oh, yeah. You know, maybe two depends on the rest of the roster, but his leadership skill is still a work in progress. You know, the league is largely about small ball now and pace. But Cousin always causes matchup problems with his size and skill. Agreed. And now with the tip-off coming up shortly, we go courtside. Kevin Harlan has the call. You mean shortly like you, Ernie? Everyone is in their seat here at the Quicken Loans Arena in Cleveland as the Cavaliers look to grab a win here at home. I'm Kevin Harlan, joined by the talented analyst tandem of Greg Anthony and Chris Weber. David Aldridge is on our sideline. Last game for the Warriors, they pick up the W against the Hawks in Atlanta. I tell you what, uh, how efficient they were at scoring the basketball, especially for an away game, that was impressive. A good poise led to good shot selection, and that was the key to maximizing their opportunities. And with tip-off coming up, we've got just enough time to hear from our good friend David Aldridge on the sideline. D.A., take it away. Well, guys, DeMarcus Cousins was en route to finally playing in the postseason, but he did suffer that torn Achilles, and that kept him from the playoffs. He said, to be able to reach that goal, that would be one of the more special moments of my career. Well, Kevin, he continues to wait. Well, a lot of people hope he can finally get there, D.A. Thank you. You know, right around Chris this time of year, often top contenders begin to separate themselves from the rest of the teams. Yeah, now is when guys start feeling comfortable. They're getting into their groove, Kevin. This is when they're getting their mojo back, and they're in their roles, and they got their timing. And now you just have to let the ability show through. And how do you do that? By realizing that your muscle memory, realizing that you practice, realizing that you put in the hours, trusting that, and now going out and just being yourself and embracing the moment. Ah. And it's the Warriors to start out. Now Golden State's starting five. Curry and Thompson are the one and the two. The talented forward pair of Durant and Green at the three and the four. And it's Cousins in at the five, roaming the paint. And so it's Thompson with it. He'll bring it up for Cleveland. Osman gets to Clarkson. Just five on the clock. That one a little long. Here's Curry. He had a 21-point outing in their last game against Atlanta. Yeah, and his offense fueled him on D2. He was more than a handful on that end, piling up the steal. Now here's Cousins. Thompson dishes to Cousins. There's the triple. Love grabs the board. Here's Osman. Warriors with the rebound. It's Durant on the wing. He played real well against Atlanta in that last game. Outside, Green feeds it to Thompson. And that one, good. But this guy can play. Whatever they ask Thompson to do, he is more than willing. I mean, he knows how to create his own space to get a shot off near the rim. Thompson against Clarkson. Here's Sexton. Buries it down low. And that's what you give up when you don't fight over the screen. A lot of times your defense is your offense. Your offense is your defense. This is poor decision making right here. You can't let them have that shot. Also might have been a lack of effort. Here's Cousins following the basket by Colin Sexton. Green kicks to Thompson. Stolen by Clarkson. Oh, 
pass to Sexton. Lock at six. Back to Clarkson. Fires for three. He can't get that one to fall. And Golden State will come the other way. This their first chance this season playing the Cavaliers. And of course, playing against their NBA Finals opponent from a season ago, they hoisted the Larry O'Brien Trophy and sent this club home empty-handed. Here's Sexton. The Warriors making the shot. With the teardrop, and it's good on the way in. Sexton's got his second basket of the night. You know, Crafty, it, it just capitalizing there on the floater. Give Sexton room to shoot that shot, and he's going to take it. Now here's Curry. He's a solid producer, averaging nearly 22 points a game. Green bounce pass, and stolen by Sexton. And here's the fast break. Clarkson leading the way. Passes it to Thompson, and it's Thompson with the jam. This is what Thompson wants every time. He wants to get near the rim and try to throw it down. Down low, stolen by Thompson. The pass to Sexton. The dunk and the foul, a powerhouse move, and he's got a chance for one more at the line. It's on DeMarcus Cousins. And, of course, Colin Sexton. His college team once had to finish a game with only three players. Yeah, and he scored 40 that night. He got me almost led him to a victory. He loves to play under the bright lights, brings great energy and enthusiasm every night. Looking at who's out there now for the Cavaliers. Henson's checked What's in for Love. Nance comes in for Jetty Osman. And it's Brandon Knight in for Clarkson. And Colin Sexton, when it comes to scoring, the man shows you a little bit of everything. Loves to drive it, loves to attack inside, improving his consistency from range. But, but what I love about him is the aggressiveness. This guy is always in attack mode. Durant's had total confidence in his jumper. Probably since the first jumper he took. I mean, he's one of the most natural-looking shooters you'll ever see. And Henson kicks to Thompson. And the foul called on DeMarcus Cousins. That'll be his second foul of the game. That's his second foul, and now they might really go at him. I mean, try to get a third foul and force him to sit on the bench. The Warriors making a switch here. Yurebko's checked in. Golden State on deep. Trailing by two. Here's Sexton. Second shot opportunity. The shot by Thompson, no good. Well, that's just a quick move to the 10 and an even quicker reaction by the D to stop Quick shot there, and it's off target. For Cleveland, they've gone four for nine from the field to start this game off. Sexton with it. 20 points for him last game against the Nets in Brooklyn. Yeah, and his big night wasn't limited to his offense. His steals numbers were way up there, and it was a special night for him in just about every way. Now, here's Green. Larry Nance unable to get his shot to go. Pass to Kirk. His three pointers off the mark. And, and close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Knight looking it over. Here's Thompson. Yes, and Knight with the assist that time. And he's finding some good shots early on. And what you like about it, he's not trying to do too much. Warriors trail by four. Curry kicks to Durant. Over Nance. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Outside night. Shoots from 14. Kevin Durant with the rebound. And it's Durant with the ball. He'll bring it up for Golden State. It's Curry outside. That's in. And he found his range with that one. Now one for two. Uh, using so many devices to get a shot. I mean, that time Curry on the catch and shoot. Outside night. Down low. And Tristan Thompson on the bucket with the assist by Knight. And it's six points for Tristan Thompson. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. Pass to Green. To the middle. Stolen by Thompson. Four on three as they bring it up. Oh, 
Here's Knight. The second effort. Warriors with the rebound. And, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. And Draymond Green picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. For the Cavaliers, Marquise Chris comes in for Tristan Thompson. And Stauskas subbed in for Sexton. Different look here for the Warriors. Jordan Bells checked in for Green. Iguodala comes in for Kevin Durant. Sean Livingston, he's checked in for Thompson. And Quinn Cook subbed in for Curry. Warriors trail by three. Here's Jarebko. And then Jarebko with the dunk. Oh, the feed was perfect. The timing, the placement, everything was right on the money. Here's Chris. Drains it from beyond the arc. And it's crucial that Chris makes that shot. Big men like him are expected to possess an outside jumper nowadays. Now, here's Livingston. Currently averaging almost six points a game. To the inside, Cook. A beautiful reverse layup. Man, he's got such a great touch and feel around the basket. He made that reverse look easy. Cleveland's gone one of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Outside Knight. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And the Cavaliers lead by four. Absolutely fearless. I mean, a, a nice subtle adjustment there going up against Wynn. Well, this is just another case where being aggressive wins out. Here is Cook. Taking a look at his stance, he's averaging around seven and a half points a game. Here's Stauskas. He's covered by Livingston. Warriors trail by four. Here is Cook. Iguodala outside. Bell with it. And it's Ensign picking him up. Bell against Henson. Releases. They get it again. No good that time. The Cavaliers leading by four. Stauskas, the pass tonight. And another three for Cleveland. That's a good way to boost his three-point percentage. Take advantage of some soft defense. And so here is Golden State. Well, the much vaunted defense of the Warriors took a step back last season. Falling from second in the league in defensive rank 211. But uh, it's tough to nitpick. But I'm sure it's an area they're looking at to address. And there's the foul. It's on Quinn Cook. That's his first foul. Cleveland's gone two of four from beyond the arc to start the game. Knight kicks to Chris. No good on that one. So Golden State will take it the other way. And tough defense has been a staple with this group in Golden State, reversing decades of history in that regard. Decades and decades and decades. The Warriors hadn't been better than 10th in defensive efficiency since 1979. A 35-year hiatus that happily came to an end in 2014. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. The Cavaliers shooting their second and third free throws tonight. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. The first free throw is good. NBA rosters are turning over faster, it seems, these days. Chris, how much do former teammates know about defending one another? Or is it a non-issue? Oh, no, it's more than a non-issue, Kevin. You were right in your assumption that Listen, the former teammates, they have a little more inside information. And, and you know why it matters? Because every day after practice, you know, the first thing guys do after they get their water, they play one-on-one. -on -one. Mm. And so you understand guys' tendencies. You learn how they get into a rhythm. We're all creatures of habit. Let's remember what Kevin Durant did. Remember how he came down on the same end of the floor in the finals and hit the same tough shot over the extended hand that he did? Well, if you notice, he did that on his crossover, that right-to-left setup and so if you know him you may know that he's going to do that and also you may know that he has a counter just in case it allows you to keep your hand out the cookie jar not to gamble it gives you a 
an educated guess on maybe what some of the greatest offensive players in the world are going to go to next to get that bucket. Any piece of information matters. And yeah, you've been practicing against them. That's a good thing. Mm. Livingston, that's good. Now, deep shooting. Not a core element of Livingston's game, but he'll take it. And here's Knight. He'll bring it up for the Cavaliers. Six-point lead. Here's Osman. He's covered by Igudala. Shot clock at six. Sinks the triple. Stauskas has got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. And off to an incredible start here early from long range. Livingston finds Igudala. And Jerebko has it in the corner. Trying to come right back with the three of his own. But it's no good. Bell passes to Livingston. And he makes it look easy, dunking it hard with one hand. Uh, still with enough explosiveness and, and with great length to finish Sean Livingston. Got a piece of it. Outside Knight. Love with the bucket. Did anybody see any defensive presence on that play? I mean, he's not going to blow that layup. It was wide open. Warriors trail by nine. One sixteen left to play in the first quarter. Back to Livingston. Here's Cook. That shot off the mark. Some solid defense from Knight. Here's Stauskas. Yes, and Knight with the assist that time. Knight's got three assists now in this one. Starting to surge here, and we're only in the first quarter. And it's happening at both ends, trying to end this thing before it begins. Here is Cook. Now Livingston. Back to Cook. Jacks up a three. Rebound by Stauskas. Still looking to get into a blue this court. Here's Knight. And he banks in the layup. Knight's got his third basket of the night right there. And already with the commanding lead, a terrific offensive performance. Oh, okay, you've done your job so far, but the question is now, can they sustain this level of energy? There's still a lot of game to play. Now, here's Livingston. Five points in the game. Love kicks to Eisman. Stauskas, the pass to Knight. Left side, Love. Over Bell. And, and capable of defending multiple positions, Bell has the speed and length to annoy anyone. And so it's the Cleveland Cavaliers looking at a 13-point lead heading into the next quarter. And they've created a bunch of turnovers with that terrific D. And don't go away. We'll be right back. One of the most demonstrative players in the game, Draymond Green speaks about the importance of passion and effort on defense. That's all defense is. It is effort. It's the effort to want to communicate. It's the effort to take that one extra step to help someone. It's an effort to move up one step to get into the ball as opposed to sitting off the ball. Well, and he should know a former defensive player of the year. You know, he just takes pride in being their anchor defensively. And if he's not seeing that effort, He's going to let you know about it. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And for the Cavaliers, this has been the game they wanted to have. I mean, an interesting first quarter. The, the pressure D seems to be causing a lot of turnover. Well, that's what happens when you're aggressive on that end of the floor. They took a few chances and took control of the game. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter to play. And so in the game for the Cavaliers, the forwards are Osman and Love. Stauskas is out there with Jordan Clarkson. And it's Chris in at the center filling out the middle. Clarkson kicks to Stauskas.
pass to Clarkson. From deep, Cleveland the rebound. And the rejection by Cousins. And one of the things Cousins has continued to develop is defense. Really makes an effort to swat that shot away. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Well, Draymond Green is a former Defensive Player of the Year, and he remembers his motivation. They said I fell in the draft because what position would I guard? I'll never forget that. I'm comfortable guarding any position. When I'm playing against big guys, I battle even harder. You have to prove a point. I won't be a pushover. Kevin? Yeah, he never backs down. Thanks, David. And it's the Cavaliers with the ball. The Warriors making the shot. And that one's good. Wow. And I like that they're not settling. Getting the ball on the interior. Eight of their last ten coming that way. You know, watching Kevin Love, he's really got a ton of tools at his disposal offensively. Uh, we know he can shoot it. We know he can post it. But his off-ball movement has also improved. Love has molded himself into a dynamic score. The D a little slow to get in his face. They're fortunate it didn't cost him. Iguodala outside. Over in the corner, Livingston. Here's Cousins. Connects from three-point range. Oh, you love the confidence of Cousins. His ability to rise up and toss up a shot as soon as he gets the ball is tremendous. Stolen. And here we go with Cook heading to the hoop. Moving it up. And a wide open look for Iguodala. Off the left rim and out. Look, he had all the time in the world to get the jumper off. Maybe it was too much time. Osman kicks to Clarkson. Nice shot from the wing. Clarkson's got his first basket of the night. Now a timeout called by Golden State. Throughout his career, Jordan Clarkson has always been able to score. Uh, you can be right, Kevin, and throughout his career, he's always uh, been a guy that can hurt you from outside, mid-range, and in the paint as well. He's a natural scorer when he has the ball in his hands. I mean, he's very adept at navigating traffic and can twist and turn his body to protect the ball. And he gets a shot up inside anytime he wants. And the Cavaliers will go with a different look here. Thompson, he's checked in for Marquise Chris. Henson comes in for Kevin Love. Harry Nance has checked in for Jetty Austin. And it's Sexton in for Nick Stauskas. Different look here for the Warriors. Green, he's checked in for Bell. Kevin Durant comes in for Andre Iguodala. Thompson, he's checked in for Sean Livingston. And Steph Curry subbed in for Quinn Cook. And here's Sexton. Seven points in the game. It's stolen by Curry. Durant finds Curry. Durant trying to break free. Count it. And the Cavalier lead has been cut down now to just eight on the basket from Curry. And you can't leave someone open around Durant. He keeps his eyes up, makes a play for his team. Thompson inside. Cousins is there. Thompson misses. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for Golden State. Only given up six here in this quarter. It's stolen by Curry. And the shot goes down. Curry's got seven. Uh, the awareness of everything around him. Curry picks it clean. Then off to the races. Clarkson passes to Thompson. Back to Clarkson. Looking for Henson. He gets it there. Thompson against Clarkson. Just five to shoot. Out to Nance. Here's Sexton. Once again, off the mark by Cleveland. Here's Golden State now. They're on a 13-4 run right now. Now the pass to Clarkson. That one's good. Maybe that'll get him going after a two-for-six start. And this is where Clarkson can do a lot of damage. I mean, that in-between area. Curry passes to Cousins. For three, Durant. Another three for Golden State. And they're shooting really well from long range this quarter they should keep looking to the three-point shot for some extra offense now here's Sexton seven points in the game and Thompson sends it back oh he hasn't been much of a shot blocker in his career but Clay denies that and a great assist by Curry as that one goes in now just a two-point Cavalier lead 
For Cleveland, they've gone four of ten in the second quarter from the field. Clarkson taking his time here. Henson in the corner. Nance outside. Clarkson against Thompson. Pulls it up. And Thompson kicks to Sexton. He feeds it to Henson. And slam dunk by Henson. Sexton has to just keep developing his court awareness. You, you want to see more passing from him. Warriors trail by four. Thompson with it. He had a 27-point outing in the last game against Atlanta. Here's Curry with the three. It's rebounded by Cleveland. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. He had one three-point in the first, but still searching for that second. Nance outside. Sexton kicks to Clarkson. Cleveland gets it back. Lost to Sexton. And it's Cousins with the foul. That's his third foul of the game. He was hoping to avoid a third foul before the break. And now, he might have to sit out until halftime. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Knights checked in. Pass to Sexton. Shot clock at six. That one, no good. So Golden State will take it the other way. And following this game, they hit the road to challenge the Bucks in Milwaukee. That will conclude a five-game road trip for them. Timely passing leads to assists, and that's been the recipe for success. Timeout is called first of the game for the Cavaliers. Coming off that loss against the Nets. And their defense practically non-existent in that one. Just gave up far too many easy shots. Well, their opponents ran some pretty good sets, too. I mean, let's be honest, creating some nice open looks. Yurevko's checked in for Golden State. And for a look at how the competition stacks up right now. These, the new power rankings, they tell a great story. You look at the Rockets, they're gaining on some of the teams above them, trying hard to crack into that top five. And I think for Golden State, they're rolling. And we expected that. Lots of talent. The chemistry is there. And so is the unrivaled production. Now here's Nance after Colin Sexton's miss. Another shot. Thompson misses. Golden State's gone 6 of 12 from outside. A very nice 50% mark. Shooting the three ball well. And the foul called on Brandon Knight. That is his first foul of the game. Thompson surveying the floor. Outside green. It's stolen by Nance. Playing a little corner back there. Anticipate. Oh, wow. Look out. It's a beautiful jam. Nance is special. How, how easy is it for him to make the spectacular look routine? Thompson against Curry. They kick it out to Green. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Thompson's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Sexton the pass to Nance. Now here's Henson. He shoots again, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's on Kevin Durant. Yeah, the defender all over. The Cavaliers have yet to miss from the free throw line. They're three for three. Gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. The first one falls. Chris, you and I love guys with a great handle, uh, and they can finish with either hand. And I know you've got a couple guys who you think do it better than most. Kyrie Irving. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. He's exactly. One of the best finishers that I've seen 
Oh my goodness, the way he can finger roll you with his left hand and, and, and throw it up so high that rain will come down with it and, <laughs> and finishing off of both legs. You have to look at a guy like Harden as well, the way he finishes. How about LeBron James? As strong as he is, it seems like he just kind of gives you a shoulder with either shoulder, bumps and weights, and then lays it up nice too. I mean, you have so many players. And Curry, he's another guy that, that does it so well. I can keep going on and on with, with those guys. Don't forget about Mike Conley. He's ambidextrous. He might just shoot a jump shot uh, with either hand. So you got to be careful when guarding these guys. Great finishes. Man. Good names you've mentioned. And they'll turn it over. Could not get off a shot. 24 second violation. Love check in for John Henson. Cleveland leading by six. That's tipped. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Thompson. And a look now at the breakdown between three-point and two-point shots attempted here tonight for the Warriors. Knight against Thompson. Love goes in. That's good. The assist that time from Knight. Knight's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. And so Curry will bring it up for Golden State. Thompson outside from 13 and too long on the shot deflects the pass Cleveland's gone 0 or 3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter to the paint it's stolen by Green and it's the Warriors on the break lobbed up there for Durant takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down well we all saw that coming when KD started cutting to the rim beautiful alley-oop finish from Durant Cavaliers leading Inside, it's stolen by Jerebko. Outside, Green. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And Draymond Green, an extremely vocal leader. Uh, he's in his teammates' ears, always trying to keep them on edge. Also in his opponent's ears as well. And then there's the official. Uh, he, he tends to like to get in their ears as well. throw good green and Draymond Green Greg has been among the league leader in technicals if you're one of his teammates or his coach do you try to get him to dial it back you know his greatest strength can, can probably also be his greatest weakness that fire and motivation really second to none but I'd be careful not to hamper that enthusiasm good on both I mean, for Draymond, defense is still his calling card. The versatility to switch one through five, contain, get back, communicate, be in a position to help, he does it all. Here's Dawson. He has five. Durant finds Thompson. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. Clay Thompson, such a perfect fit on the Warriors. A versatile defender can score playing off the ball and just plays the game the right way. That free throw good from Thompson. Oh, the skill, the quick release. Clay Thompson is a special shooter in the field and at the line. Looking at who's out there now for the Warriors. Jordan Bell's checked in for Draymond Green. Igudala comes in for Kevin Durant. And Cook subbed in for Curry. Both good from the line that time. And working Kevin themselves to the line here in the second. A nice way to get your offense going. Here's Knight. He kicks it to Love. It's stolen by Bell. On the wing, it's Igudala. Passes it to Bell. 
He dishes it to Cook. Kicks it out to Iguodala. And he's good on the three ball. Iguodala has got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. The Cavaliers trailing. The pass to Chris. They get a hand on it. It's stolen by Jerebko. A shot by Thompson, and no one's around. Drops in the tray. Thompson's got a pair of triples in the second now for the Warriors. Cleveland's gone 0-3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. Timeout called Timeout. Cleveland. And not surprising, obviously unhappy with the lack of response from his team. Well, the pace right now, that's being dictated to them. They have to try to get it back to their tempo, to their style of game. Andrew Bogut, he's checked in for Jordan Bell. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out west. Already we're in December. Take a look at the Warriors. A terrific position for them as they hold up that illustrious top spot. But it's a long season, as we all know. And checking out the Lakers, eight games out. And well, for the Warriors, as talented a team as they are, has performed at a very high level this season. Everything's gone according to plan up to this point. Yeah, Greg, already uh, the focus has started to turn to the postseason and what they need to do to make a run at a championship. The Cavaliers have been on target from the free throw line. They're 5 of 5 in that department. shots and he knocks down the first one they've hit every one of their free throws here in the second quarter very important when you're trailing That misses, so he splits the free throws. Warriors leading by three. Cook looking it over. Kicks it to Thompson. Iguodala outside. To the right side. From the arc. And another three for Golden State. Their third three-pointer in a row. We've got 108 left in the first half of basketball. Outside night. Pass to Stauskas. Frizz up top. Covered by Bogut. Here's Love. Yes, and Knight with the assist that time. Eight points for Love. And, and Kevin, they started the game shooting it so well. I I'm surprised they haven't continued. They've got to get back to their script. Now here's Thompson. 12 points for him. Iguodala, right side. And he banks in the layup. Iguodala's got five points now this quarter. A much better quarter for them shooting the ball. The Cavaliers trail by six to the paint. Here's Stauskas, and the layup is good. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. And it's the Warriors' ball. They're on a 17-5 run here. Here's Iguodala. He's got five. Thompson right side. Misses the chippy right there. Man, right play, wrong result on that one. Generally, you knock those down. Well, I like the decision making, though. I mean, that's a shot you want to keep taking. The Cavaliers have put up good numbers at the charity strike, converting six of seven. Shooting two. And he makes the first. And the Cavaliers making a change here.
He hits both from the strike. Up in time. And he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. Ray Thompson has been leading the charge for the Golden State Warriors. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thank you. With Draymond Green, Draymond rebounding a bit of a struggle. How do you improve that? Hit your man. You know, get five guys to the boards. Guards get in there and clean up those boards that's loose, but you know, our big guys got to hold our mans off, and we've been doing that this half. We'll see if all five can get you more boards in that second half, Dre. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, folks. Good to have you back. Ernie Johnson with Kenny the Jet Smith and the big diesel, Shaquille O'Neal. Welcome to the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. Clay Thompson putting in some serious work for the team tonight. He had 12 points, two assists, and one block. Taking a look at the Warriors, Kenny, what'd you think? Well, they were consistent from downtown. The playmakers found open shooters, and the shooters delivered and knocked down shots on a high level. In some ways, it came down to confidence. We'll see if they have that same swagger in the second half. Shaq, how do you think Cleveland played? Well, the reserves came in and played like starters. Gave them some big points off the bench. It'll be no surprise to see them get more minutes in the second half. They definitely deserve it. Though sometimes when you get more minutes, you get exposed. We shall see. Thanks for joining us, folks. We're now just a few minutes away from the start of the third quarter. Welcome back, folks. So much to do here in downtown Cleveland and East 4th Street right in the heart of it all. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. Clay Thompson has been sensational. His points production thus far off the charts. It's only been two quarters. Just a great effort for him for the entire half. Yeah, right. I mean, the defense hasn't had an answer for this guy yet. Just too skilled, too driven this far. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. And Golden State looking at who they've got. Thompson and Durant, the deadly shooting wing pair. Down low, it's Green and Cousins. And it's Curry in at the one spot. Well, you, you see the struggles he's having getting anything to go. Yeah, but at the same time, you know if he can just break through this cold streak, he can give you what you need. Now here's Curry. Goes up on the wing, and the shot goes in. Curry's got his team on the board first here in the second half of the Warriors. Sexton kicks to Love. Pass to Osman. Back to Love. And Fremont Green picks up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. Thompson against Clarkson. Over Thompson. 0 for 3 now since halftime. Taking them a little while to find their rhythm. The shot by Clarkson, no good. Green kicks to Durant. Wasted no time on that shot, but it's off the mark. And here's Clarkson. He brings it up for the Cleveland Cavaliers. They owes the Kings after this game, and that will be the middle game of this three-game homestand. And here's Love for three. Out of bounds, Golden State takes possession. And here's what Cleveland's schedule is looking like. On Friday, it'll be the Sacramento Kings coming into town. Then on Saturday, they'll go up against Bradley Beal and the Washington Wizards. And you know for that Knicks game, that's a contest that could easily go either way. Small mistakes could be the difference, and both teams will need to be at their best. Here's Thompson. That shot missing, so Cleveland will take it the other way. 
And Z Webb, you talk about a tandem of shooters. None better than Steph Curry and Klay Thompson. Yeah, splash. You know, the splash brother. Steph Curry, uh, he is the best shooter of all time. But I would say this Klay Thompson is not far off. You think about his 64 game in 2017. He only took 11 dribbles. He had the ball in his hands for only 90 seconds. And he dropped 60. I mean, that's one of the all time scoring clinics. Good work there as it goes. Well, he's played a smart and strong game. His field goal percentage proves it. Sexton seven points in the game love outside whistle blows if that's going to be a travel while we have the chance a look at our 2k leaderboard in the top shooting small forwards at the free throw line during the last month Kevin Durant third and most impressive is that he's done it in the first quarter in the clutch whenever as consistent as they come curry on the wing he's got nine here's osman and some very quick points for him on that possession osman's got five men you know and he's not a pass first point guard but sexton's putting the work in uh, trying to raise the bar as a distributor timeout called the warriors and Kevin, he saw his, his guys just a little sluggish out there. Oftentimes, a timeout like this allows you to kind of just reset. The Warriors making a switch here. Livingston's checked in. Well, a chance to check out Tristan Thompson here. The last 10 games, he has been on a heck of a run. He's averaging 10 points a game, 11 rebounds, and just over two steals. And I'm not sure he can play any better than he has. I mean, surprising a lot of people with this play here of late. Uh, absolutely. And now the question is, can he build from this? Or will he regress back to the mean? You know, we'll see. And, and got to like what they've been doing down low in the post. It's stolen by Curry. And Cousins kicks to Curry. Had the space there, but it's offline. It's stolen by Curry. Stolen by Thompson. Now, here's Clarkson. Not a lot of room. The open look here for Sexton. Buries the long-range jumper. Ten points for him. You know, the timing, the rhythm. I'm a big fan of when Sexton can just catch and shoot. Outside curve. He kicks to green. That shot off. Good D from Love. Passes it to Sexton. A miss that time would have put him up. The Warriors leading. Here's Green. Chalk up two there. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Timeout called the Cavaliers. And so many people question KD's decision to join the Warriors. I mean, you know, but he's not resting on his laurels. If anything, he's shown, you know, he has even more hunger to continue that success. John Henson's checked in for the Cavaliers. Nance comes in for Jetty Austin. Let's take a moment to check out Kevin Durant here. Over the last month, he has been spectacular. First in free throw percentage, seventh in field goal percentage, and he's a flamethrower from distance. Top ten in the league and three-point shoot. And it's nice when you have the NBA's best free throw shooter just keep the ball in his hands in clutch situations. He's been completely automatic this season. Here's Livingston, and a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got six assists now in the game. The Cavaliers trail by five. And, Chris, you talk about KD wanting to play with more passion, more emotion. Last season, he had five ejections. He only had one through his first ten seasons in the league. But he said winning the title made him single-minded. I mean, everything else, the lifestyle, the chatter diminished. I mean, KD, with that focus, comes intensity. And so it's Livingston bringing it up now for Golden State. To the middle, and stolen by Sexton. To the inside, 
and Henson with the bucket on the assist by Sexton. Sexton's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Now here's Curry. Nine points in the game so far. Cousins dishes to Curry. And Cousins kicks to Green. Outside Durant. But three. That's good. He's five for nine. Uh, not everything in the game has an answer. And sometimes all you can do is just tip your cap to Durant when he hits his jumper. It's stolen by Livingston. And up the court come the Warriors on the break. Livingston is running, and Cousins throws it down. Uh, I tell you what, I really like watching Cousins use his athleticism on these alley-oops. He's a big target near that rim that you can't forget about. And a tremendous Unleash Chaos replay coming to you courtesy of Under Armour, Hover Hannah. Now here's Henson. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. Six on the shot clock. Clarkson. Another three for Cleveland. Yeah, they're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results. Timeout called the Warriors. And Jordan Clarkson is a player who is looking for his shot whenever he gets the ball. Can distribute enough, but it isn't his top priority. Very dangerous when left alone outside. Chris, he's checked in for Cleveland. And then for Golden State. Your Rebco's checked in for Draymond Green. Igudala comes in for Kevin Durant. And Cook subbed in for Sean Livingston. Now here's Curry. He's got nine. Over Sexton. And it's Cousins with a foul. That's his fourth foul of the contest. Cleveland's gone three of seven from three-point range here in quarter number three. Clarkson passes to Sexton. Comes up empty down low. And with Clarkson, as good as he is outside, Greg, he prefers to shoot off the dribble than on the catch. Yeah, and it's why Clarkson gets labeled a, a high-volume, low-efficiency guy. Terrific on catch and shoot chances. I think if he played more towards his strengths, he could put together a career year. Warriors have gotten six of their 12 shots to drop for him here in the second half so far. Iguodala outside, and the pass to Kirk. Here is Cook. He's covered by Clarkson, 14 feet away. Cavaliers with the rebound. Henson's got five rebounds tonight. Cleveland's gotten the three-point bug tonight. They've taken 15 shots outside the arc. Six of 15. Pass to Chris. And trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. Pass to Cook. All sorts of time. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got his seventh assist in the game. Clarkson against Curry. And here's Clarkson. He's got 12. Now, here's Sexton. And it's Chris in the corner. Off target from three-point range. The Warriors have gotten half their shots to drop in the second half up to this point, going 7 of 14. It's deflected, but they'll get another chance. No question, he got bumped on that shot. The Warriors have been solid at the line so far. Four for four. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. Shooting two. And that one misses. Yeah, uh, you know, Coach Steve Kerr may seem to have a laid back demeanor, but knowing him personally, I tell you what, he's fiery. Uh, he's intense and he wants to win. Uh, when tempers flare, don't be surprised to see him smashing clipboards and letting loose on the sideline. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Osman's checked in. The Cavaliers trail by three. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. And Henson kicks to Chris. Chris with another miss. 
And playing for the Bulls, Kerr famously got into a fight with a teammate, Michael Jordan. Yeah, he has that competitive spirit, that edge you need to succeed in this game. Uh, great people skills, sure. He's not a pushover. Now here's Nance, following the miss by DeMarcus Cousins. Nance against Iguodala. Just five on the clock. A 19-foot shot, and good. Got the English that time as it falls. Osmond's got four points in the quarter. And so it's Iguodala. He'll bring it up for the Golden State Warriors. It's a one-point game. Now here's Cousins, covered by Chris. Iguodala with it. Five points in the game. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. And Cleveland gets called for the foul. The Warriors shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one drops. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Love's checked in. Clay Thompson, he's checked in for the Warriors. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. The Cavaliers trail by three. Osman, the pass to Sexton. Back to Osman for the tie. Good on the triple. Osman's got seven points for the quarter. And finally, they fought themselves back to even the score. We've got a new ball game here now. They've shown some character tonight. There was no quit in them, even when they were down big. Here is Cook. He's got seven. Kicks it to Thompson. Shot clock at six. Here's Yurebko. A strong finish under heavy pressure all over. Yurebko's got seven points in the game. A tight game here in Cleveland. And there's the foul. It's on Quinn Cook. That's foul number two for him. Jones checked in for the Warriors. One forty-six left in the third. Passes to Osman. Dishes it to Sexton. With some arc. Moves back up. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Such a menace close to the rim. You got to respect Sexton's fearlessness when he's amongst the bigs. This is his second trip to the line in this one. throw good Sexton and the aggressiveness Sexton plays with is it's infectious he, he motivates his teammates to play just as hard green he's checked in for the Warriors Looney comes in for your red and once he gets into a groove like that it is count the good finds Thompson here's a good over Chris a good no good We've got 113 left in the third quarter of the game. And there's the foul. It's on Quinn Cook. That's his third foul so far. Bonus situation in effect, so we'll head to the free throw line for two. Well, Greg, we know that Kevin Love is a great passer, but just how much more does that open up for his team? I mean, his outlets get the team up and moving in terms of transition 
faster than probably anyone else could. It, it, very hard to double love with the ball as his awareness and that passing that you mentioned immediately will find the open man. And Love's passing alone is probably worth about 10 extra points a game for his team. Durant's checked in for Looney. Good on both. Impeccable from the line since halftime. The Warriors trail. Durant kicks to Thompson. Green inside, covered by Chris. Got a hand on it. Nance against Iguodala. Nance passes to Sexton. Back to Nance. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. Six on the shot clock. The pass to Love. Over Durant. They get it back. Fires the three. That shot is off. It's been a really tough quarter for him. I mean, he cannot get his shots to drop. And it's Cook missing. The Cavaliers shooting a troubling 38% in the third. Not the finest work of this offense. Sexton kicks the lob. And another miss by Cleveland. Here is Cook. Takes a three. And that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. And we just finished the third quarter, and we've got a tight ball game here. Cavaliers lead by two. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get started for the fourth quarter. And a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. Yeah, he put it on a platter, and it was served cold. Now, I love the poise, the decisiveness. This is how you run an offense. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. And so it's Iguodala. He'll bring it up for the Golden State Warriors. Love is the four with Thompson in the middle. Then it's Nance. Then there's Sexton. And it's Osman in at the two. That's the five for Cleveland right now. Now here's Nance following the shot by Kevin Durant. And there's the call on Curry. That is his first foul of the game. Here's Thompson. Banked in off the glass. Thompson's got the fourth quarter started here with a bucket for Cleveland. Look, I love how Thompson maintains his focus. He doesn't let the D change his shot selection. Curry kicks to Green. Pass to Durant. Just five to shoot. The Cavaliers pull it in. Now Sexton. Thompson outside. Pass to Sexton. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. And now a six-point Cleveland lead. You know, you got to respect Sexton's scoring ability. The closer he gets inside, the more effective he is. Green dishes to Durant. Yes, that goes in. And you don't want to allow too many of those short ones with the game right now in the balance. Sexton kicks to Love. Inside. Thompson misses. Warriors trail by four. Here's Durant. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the layup. And you never hear about it, but Durant is very strong. That allows him to finish on shots like that. Sexton the pass to Thompson. The teardrop falls in. Thompson's got four points now in the quarter. Florida's a tough shot, even when you're that close to the bucket. Second minute off the clock now in the fourth. 
Curry finds Green. Got a piece of it. You know, having a point guard who can block shots is a luxury. Sexton with terrific timing and reach on that one. Here's Osman. Now the dish to Sexton. Here's Osman. But they recover it. They get a hand on it. Stolen by Thompson. And here we go with Thompson running it up the court on its way from Curry for two. And that one goes long. And I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backboard. Osman kicks to Nance. Pass to Love. Back to Osman. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And it's a six-point Cavalier lead. Warriors have gone just 33% from the field in the fourth quarter so far. They are two of six. Here's Thompson. It's in and good for his sixth field goal in 10 attempts. Look, I love seeing Thompson convert through contact, muscling over whatever the D throws his way. Timeout called the Cavaliers. And he could tell his guys starting to wear down a little bit. Call time to just let them get their legs back under them. Jordan Clarkson, he's checked in for Larry Nance. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what the Cavaliers head coach was saying to his team. He was pretty clear-cut to them. He said, look, we need to play with some edge out there. I don't care what the lead is. Do not back off. Thank you, David. But Durant has arms that just keep on going and going and going. You aren't going to be able to just get a shot by him. That one drops for him. And he has the chops for this, raising the intensity when it matters most. But he's showing you he wants to close this game out. That's an attitude that he brings and is appreciated by this team. Now, here's Clarkson. It's going by Durant. Oh, and here we go with Durant. Nobody back. And Kevin Durant with the slam. Look right there. That's not even fair. Durant just showing off his quickness and length on the defensive end. He gets the steal to jumpstart the fast break. For Cleveland, they've gone four of eight in this fourth quarter, shooting an even 50% from the field. Now, here's Sexton. Tight defense on him. Thompson. And it's Thompson with the jam. Oh, and he went for the two-hander on the slam, using some muscle. Some urgency from him there. Sure. The Warriors have gone five for nine from the field in the final quarter so far. Curry kicks to Green. up there for Thompson. Man, it's so fun watching Thompson catch fire. He's such an elite scorer. He only needs a few to fall to get it going. Well, Cleveland shooting in the fourth quarter has been efficient at 56%. Here's Osman. And the rejection by Cousins. To take the lead. And Durant finishes inside. Durant's got 11 in the second half. Defensively, this is what you know. He's coming off a hot game and looking to keep it rolling. Yeah, but here's the problem. They play team ball. So if you pay him too much attention, that just leaves other guys open and it's too difficult of an adjustment to make. Here's Osman. Kevin Durant picking up that last basket. Just four to shoot. And there's the defensive three-second call. Steph Curry, of course, a two-time MVP. If there's one area he can still improve on, though, Chris, I think Coach Kerr would say it's limiting his turnovers. Well, we forget Steph was a shooting guard up until his final season in college. I mean, he made incredible strides as a ball handler, but that recognition of what passes to avoid still developed. And the technical free throw is good. Henson checked in for Cleveland. Now, here's Sexton, guarded by Kirk. Here's Henson. That one doesn't go. Great D that time from Green. The pass to Thompson. That one wide left. The Cavaliers trailing. And here's Sexton. Great D that time from Green. That's what we're talking about in terms of the activity level defensively. You got to protect the rim. Well, that takes physical ability, good timing. Those two things that he possessed. Now, here's Curry. 
That's in for his fifth make of the night. Now shooting at a 50% clip. Five for Champ. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And it goes on Draymond Green. Draymond Green at 6'7", seen as undersized coming out of Michigan State, but his 7'1 wingspan goes a long way. Yeah, it goes a long way along with working out and, and, and working hard as he does. I mean, he's averaged over a block a game for his career. You know, combined with his low center of gravity, it enables him to defend much bigger players, but also get on the wing and defend some guards. And he can't get the second one to drop either. Coming up empty that time. And really as solid as he's been at the line, I had already chalked those points up. Goes to show you, though, don't take anything for granted. He gets it in there. Oh, it's very rare to have a player that has the size of Durant. Also have the ability to float one over the defender. I mean, just simply amazing. Sexton the pass to Thompson. He dishes it to Clarkson. Knocks it loose. Curry with the steal. And here we go. Thompson heading to the hoop. The shot's good. And now a seven-point Warrior lead. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. The drive by Thompson. Raymond Green grabs the miss. Green's got seven rebounds in the game. Thompson finds Cousins. Golden State moving the ball around. That one good for two. And the Warriors lead by nine. Moving it around. Eight of their last ten coming off assists. Now here's Sexton. Guarded closer. To the middle. Here's Thompson. Shoots over Cousins. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact. And he'll go to the line for two. Look, I like how aggressive Thompson is inside. He's easily picking up fouls thanks to his massive size. Greg, what are some of the positives that Tristan Thompson's play brings to the team? Still a very efficient scorer on the shots that he does take. And he lives mostly inside the paint. And still a strong offensive rebounder. But, but his days of being a threat on the offensive end as the game has evolved seems to have kind of gone away. And he makes the first. Now, we've all seen this guy's development. Thompson has proven to be a valuable role player. He's exceptional at tracking down rebounds and a more than capable defender. And so Thompson nails both of them. Warriors leading by seven. Curry kicks to Cousins. Outside Durant. Back to Cousins. Ball's knocked loose. And it's Cousins with the foul. That's it for him. He's fouled out of the game. And he has to take that long, slow walk back to the bench here. He'll watch the rest of this one from the sideline. Andrew Bogut. He's checked in for Golden State. And the Warriors also making a change. Iguodala is checked in. Sexton the pass to Thompson. Now here's Sexton. Thompson dishes to Clarkson. Five on the clock. Knocks down the three ball. And he's shaking off that slow start, giving them a boost here in the second. Warriors shooting one of the high points for them in this game at 54%. Thompson finds Green. Back to Thompson. Shot clock at six. And Thompson sends it back. But Thompson is a more than capable defender. He has excellent length. And he uses that to swat away shots. And no one near Clarkson as he lets it go. No good from outside. Durant up top, and it's the Warriors on the break. And Henson pulls it down. 
Jansen's got rebound number seven for him tonight. It's Sexton on top of the key. Back to Henson. Here's Thompson over Durant. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. It's on Kevin Durant. And you don't think Thompson is outstanding at using his body. Look at this, a muscular presence who picks up fouls well. Free throw good from Thompson. No good on the second free throw. I like that he's playing with the edge here in the second half. I mean, he didn't get to the line once in the first half. Well, he doesn't always show a lot of emotion, but Thompson with an assassin's mentality. And the Cavaliers call time here. And he could tell his guys starting to wear down a little bit. Call time to just let them get their legs back under them. And now, let's present our Jordan player of the game, Stephen Curry. And what an active set of hands he's had on him tonight. He's come up with several big steals and giving them some valuable extra possessions. And that energy on D is carried over to the other guys on the court. You can definitely count on that. The Cavaliers trail by five. Pass to Henson. Over to the left wing. To the middle. Raymond Green grabs the miss. Oh, great effort there. That's how you defend the paint. Yeah, he has that capacity. He knows exactly where to position himself to protect the rim. Oh, big finish. Emphatic. He hangs on the rim just for good measure. Wow. Cleveland's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Sexton the pass to Henson. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. A, a good score inside, and, and the defense really offering very little resistance. That's just an attack mindset. I love it. Game on the line. He's our competing guys. Now, here's Curry. Puts it up from 15, and it's Thompson that time on the assist by Curry. That's now 26 points for Clay Thompson. Cavaliers shooting 43% for the game. Now, here's Sexton, guarded by Kirk. Sexton's shot is good. Big shot player. Sexton showing us he loves the spotlight. Seems energized performing here under the bright lights. Now, here's Curry. And Thompson kicks to Durant. Trying to get open is Thompson. Another shot. Kicks it out to Iguodala. Drains the three-pointer. And the Warriors lead by eight. Oh, you had to close out hard on Iguodala. He's made himself a true threat from beyond the arc. Cleveland now. Time running out. Sexton with it. To the left side wing. And Fremont Green picks up the foul. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. And due to the bonus, we'll head to the line for two. So the first one drops, and that narrows the gap to seven. And the Warriors making a change here. Yurebko's checked in. Henson hits them both. The lead's not looking as comfortable after those free throws. Nice job. 131 left to play in the final quarter. Curry with the bounce pants. Right side Durant. 
Back to Curry. On the wing, Green. Six to shoot. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Green's got the lead up to nine now for the Warriors. And when Draymond sets his feet, catches, and releases in rhythm, watch out. Now, here's Sexton. Guarded closer. Cloak loose. And Thompson kicks to Clarkson. Cleveland needs to get a shot off here. Here's Sexton. And it's off from three-point range. Outside, Green. Dishes it to Thompson. Back to Green. Clarkson against Thompson. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. And really nothing they can do now. They just got to play this one out. Yeah, you know you're supposed to go hard and complete the game, but they're so frustrated right now. I don't see that happening. Green taking his time here. Here's the teardrop. And Durant finishes inside. And the Warriors lead by 11. Yeah, with, with this lead, that's probably going to do it. Fans heading for the exits. Wow, this is just a huge roll win. These guys banded together. Just an awesome. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. This was a very strong showing for him, Greg. Not necessarily a runaway win, but one they'll feel very good about. And, and let's face it, anytime you can go on the road and win in the fashion they did, you have to feel good about it. it really an outstanding effort all the way around. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Kevin. Steph, you guys were down. How did you get back, and what did you do to spark your team? I don't know, just uh, be aggressive. That's all we do. Uh, you know, shots are going to fall as long as we got defensive stops and kept ourselves in the game. But we have enough talent on this team to, uh, to turn the tide. So it says a lot about who we are and uh, what our mission is this year. Great win, Steph. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. And that about wraps it up for Chris Weber, Greg Anthony, and David Olden. This is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for being with us. We'll see you later.